uh, obviously a great crowd tonight. Um, we started a little slow but our, on offense, but our defense was terrific uh, for 40 minutes. Um, you know, we, we were alert, we were communicating, we did a lot of good things. I thought transition defense was terrific. If you know anything about Notre Dame, they're really good at transition. They get quick threes in transition, and we took that away most of the night. Um, I thought uh, Wiggins made some big hustle plays in the first half, blocking the shots from behind. Um, I only got us going, made some shots finally, couldn't make any shots. Uh, I was being stubborn, I changed our zone offense, and we started to make some shots against our zone. And, um, and then six was phenomenal on defense in the second half, and rebounding, and blocking shots, and shared the ball. We had 18 assists on 27 baskets, so a lot of good tonight. Kind of a funny game, um, but uh, it was good. And uh, you know, just proud of our guys. We did a lot of, a lot of great things. Only seven turnovers. Uh, we're doing a lot of great things. Questions, please. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Mark, after the slow start, um, you, you feel that this team, because of the confidence it, it got Sunday, sort of is more comfortable with, with the number and also with, sort of playing with a little bit of a swag? Yeah, I don't, I, we never talk about the number, so the only time I mention it is after a game when teams make a bunch of shots they normally don't make. And so that's the number in front of your name, guys. you got to be ready for it. Tonight that didn't happen, uh, obviously, but, um, you know, we got down 9-4 to four, first time out. I was like, well, we've been here many times. Was, you know, it's lock in a guard, and I think we got the lead. 13-11 or something um, in there. So, uh, wish we, we, I felt like we were kind of walking on, I say, eggshells offensively at the start. We weren't aggressive enough, and uh, we got to be a little bit more aggressive out of the shoot. Uh, we're a really good running team, and that'll help us. But, you know, once we hit some shots, I thought everybody kind of loosened up a little bit and played much better. How much was the how much is that to you as a size? And where do the players start Well, um, we really worked hard on guarding the ball over the summer. And you see it, like Eric Allis, twice the defender he was last year. Aaron Wiggins is phenomenal, becoming a phenomenal defender. Uh, guarding the ball, communicating, rebounding. Um, we, were, we switched, you know, foul. But we have comp we're comfortable enough to switch sticks onto a guard and some ball screens. Um, so we work hard on it, um, and I think it's the communication. I think we're much tougher than we were last year. You know, we could get pushed around pretty good last year. Now we're a much more physical team, not just our starters, but our guys coming off the bench. So um, that, that all gives you confidence. Our guys believe in each other. Um, it's early. You know, we're just getting started. Um, but we get a little bit better every game, which is great. What were you thinking as you, you know, saw Aaron have that, you know, put back down to the end of yeah. the half, and how much energy did that give you guys going to the Yeah, uh, that was great. Um, might make top ten, obviously, <laughs> which is good for Aaron. Um, but you know me, I, I can be kind of a, well, you guys don't know me, because I act a little different in front of you. But mm -hmm. I said he knew he missed it, so he followed the shot right away. <laughs> so I couldn't make one, so um, he just laughed. But, uh, Anyway, that was great. I, I, the way we finished the half was terrific. It was a three-point game. I said, guys, let's get to seven or eight at halftime. So I walked in. I said, well, you guys did better than what I asked you. That's 12, which, which was good for us. So. Okay. Mark, you have a lot of guys who can play offensively diverse skill sets. Yeah. Can a group like that believe that its identity is actually on defense? <laughs> Yeah, because their coach um, makes them play that way. Now, we've been a real explosive offensive team, too. We've been averaging, I don't know, 81 points a game. And this game was a little bit slower. I kind of slowed us down the last eight minutes of the game. Um, probably could have ran a little bit more. But, um, you know, we make two or three more of those threes. We're back at 80 again. So we're going to be both. We're going to be real explosive offensively, I think. And I think we could be a good defensive team. But, you know, we'll, we'll get a bit of a different challenge. Um, on Saturday because you got two big kids that can really play. Tonight they didn't really have a low post game, so it's a different game. We, how quickly can we adjust and and um, you know do things that way? And that that'll be the sign of you know what kind of team we can be defensively by playing against different styles. Uh, 
Um, Eric Ayala, big game with like 14 points, uh, five assists, no turnovers. What, what can you say about his ability to both come off the bench and play in the starting lineup and the way he's brought to the team this year? Yeah, I mean, Eric, Eric is a guy that's getting better every game. I love the five assists, no turnovers. I think his defense was maybe the second best he's played. I challenged him in the, uh, I can't remember what game it was, and he really guarded. But um, I thought he, I thought he tried to guard, except when he dunked, he was, you know, doing what kids do, and he came up over the top loud and it was his help. Um, he was really much better defensively, and that's important to me. Um, because it allows me to switch screens and not worry about matchups. And, uh, and so, yeah, he was complete tonight. And uh, he got us going, making those shots. Mark, how significant to have you know, Anthony Cowan doesn't have to be a yeah, star. Right. You know, nine points, two assists, and you can win a game by 20 plus against yeah. an ACC team. Yeah, he still did his deal. You know, he really guarded. He got down, you know, got in the paint. He really should have about seven or eight assists. Guys couldn't make shots. but. Um, he was good, and I said that to the team. I said, guys, we could be up 25, you know, and Anthony didn't have to get 30 for us to win. And he was happy, he's happy as anybody in the, in the locker room. Um, wish he'd have made that last one from the top, the wide open one, where he got the double figures. But, um, yeah, it's a good feeling to know that you can go a lot of different directions. And, Coach, the final five minutes of the first half was an excellent stretch for you guys, and that's been a consistent theme yeah. throughout this year. Has there been one common theme that you've noticed in the five uh, final five minute, minutes, whether it be offense or defense, that's worked well? Well, I, I think a couple things. One, we we continue to guard, and then in games that we played well before half, we make open shots, right? And so usually that is an indicator for us that we're going to go. I think we're, I said it before, I think we're a spurtability team, right? And if we make shots, we keep guarding, we're going to have those 11 twos. Whatever. I think they had two straight timeouts where they didn't score. Like we won five to zero and four to zero um, in those two, you know, many uh, we call them mini wars. Um, so we really defended. But if we keep guarding, eventually we're going to make shots. Coach, I know you mentioned earlier in the season that you were kind of surprised at how quickly this team progressed in defense. Was that the case today as well? Yeah, we just keep getting better. You know, we're, 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 we. Um, we, we struggled with a couple things defensively today, um, but we got, we got length, we got quickness, um, we got a lot of good defenders, uh, we got rim protectors, and um, so you know we, we we just talked about certain things that I don't want to talk about with you guys um, that will help us be successful as the year goes on. And tonight we showed it; it gives us a chance to be a great team if we guard like that. But we have to do it every night. We have to do it against. Great teams too, so we'll see moving forward. Coach, how is the platoon working for you of the two Mitchells, Lindo and Dante yeah. Scott? Are you happy with that? Yeah, um, you know, obviously Ricky hasn't played as much the last two games. Um, we didn't play the Twins as much tonight because they're small. Um, Dante was really good again. Um, his passing on the break was really, really cool to see. He can really pass it. Um, so. Yeah, I think Saturday's game will be different. I think you'll see more of the Twins on Saturday. Um, never know how a game's going to go, but because uh, they can go a bit really big and they go really small. But um, I like all our guys. You know, I, I think they can all play. It's just, it's just playing smart, staying within the game plan is important for those young guys. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you.